Time for Mr. Truck, reviewing the latest innovations for your truck and trailer. Mr. Truck up here, high in the Rockies. We're trying this trail out today with this 2020 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. It's that top off rotor. If I lived up here, this is the vehicle I would own. It is made for this kind of stuff. The rocks, the mud, the snow. And it is, we're up here next to some big rocks. And I'm up here with my son, David. David, how much power does this four liter V6 six speed have? It's got 270 um, horsepower and 278 pound foot torque. Cool. So we're gonna come back down the mountain. We've been trying out, trying out the crawl control and the different terrain management, which shows you, you know, rock, sand, snow, moguls. And it's been a lot of fun climbing up here. This is my favorite off-road SUV. It gets around as well as any of those other ones, and it's uh, it's top notch. Great tires on it this time. These are those aluminum TRD Pro wheels, are black, and the whole black that on the army green color, and has a special rack. So come join us for the whole review. If you have a short bed truck, you know it's not easy to hook up to a gooseneck. Pop up came out with these extensions from 9 inches to 16 inches to keep you from breaking out your back window when you're pulling a gooseneck trailer. And everybody uses a shore bed. That's the most proper truck there is, is a crew cab shore bed. So, check that window. Well, you can hear me. I'll try to talk a little louder. We're in the mountains and going to do some trail riding. But this 4Runner, this 4Runner is one of my favorite off-road trucks. And it's so cool. It's about the size of a Jeep. This is kind of what I think the size of the new Bronco is going to be. But this is the right size. and has all these off-road toys. This is the TRD Pro package on this Toyota 4Runner. Hope I can see at the shield. It's fogging up. But we all got to make sacrifices during this virus. So my son David's with me. He's got his mask on. He's got a shield somewhere. And I got to keep putting this mask on. I'm going to do a video about these masks. Just got them from China. I'll tell you all about them in that video. But this four uncles has got a rear walker. It's just it's got all that crawl control on it. I'll show you that. It's got a lot of different things to help you climb those rocks. It's one of my favorite SUVs. It is my favorite SUV for off-roading. But the MSRP on this. 52,147 which for what it is is reasonable actually I think it's a little cheaper than a Tacoma TRD Pro but this has got the 4 liter I think this is the old 4 liter V6 that was in the Tacoma earlier when they switched up to the 3.5 but wow it tells you right on here horsepower and torque I didn't need to look it up it's 270 horsepower and 278 torque but, goodness, side crash, it's five stars. It's a five star, four star overall. So hopefully you see some beautiful country up here. We're gonna try to climb up some snowy, muddy rocks. And, uh, you know, we're trying to be social distancing. I know we're not six feet apart in here, but we got the shield and masks. We stand outside, we will be. But, uh, yeah, they keep sending me trucks, so I gotta keep reviewing them. I live out in the middle of nowhere, so it would say if they just drop the vehicles off, wipe them all down, leave the keys in them, and take off, and then I run out the door and grab the keys. So it's a new world we live in. But a TRD Pro, it's got almost the same wheels that all of the TRD Pros have, whether it's Tacoma or Tundra, or this Forerunner, probably the Sequoia too. Good looking wheels, they're black wheels, and this has some really good looking off road. They're hand kooks, off road tires. Um, this is set up to tow trailers. It's got a, it looks like, a, looks like a class three receiver hitch. Let's talk about the locking rear end. It's a five speed automatic. I know it's all old school on this, but it's also got the shifter on the floor, which is cool. I like that. Instead of having push button and everything, you got the old lever like we had when I was a kid. Yep, there's the lever. And that's nice. And then it's automatic. Of course, you can shift the automatic. Uh, through all the gears and the gated shifter. 
But yeah, having a floor shift is just so cool. But yeah, we're gonna go over all the dash and all those other things. There's David, my oldest son with his mask on. As you can see why I got the shields, the mask, the gloves. We all got gloves on. That seems to be the thing. But uh, yeah. So enjoy the view. I'll try to cover a few more things on this. It's got a 23 gallon tank, which actually for this size of a vehicle is pretty good. I mean, it's not great fuel mileage, just they've only got 19 on the highway, 17 combined, and 16 in the city. So you don't really buy it for fuel mileage, you buy it for the capability. It's got five seats, it's got a tray in the back which it slides out, it's got 9.6 inches of ground clearance, it's body on frame, which is so good. That's the old stout one. You know, it holds everything together as a frame, just like on a full-size truck or a full-size SUV. But I don't think anyone's in this class, which would be like almost a crossover class, or a small SUV class that has a body on frame. But it does. It's got a special roof rack too. We'll look at that. There's a name for it on here. And curb weight's 4,750. It will tow 5,000 pounds of trailer, which the uh, you can accelerate anytime you get into a flat spot and there's no traffic because this thing does get up and scoot with a five speed. Curb weight's 4750 and it will tow 5,000 pounds. The payload's 1550. But you know this tows tows 5,000 pounds at Tacoma TRD Pro will tow 6,400 pounds, I believe. So I mean that's you're really not gonna try to pull a giant trailer with this, but that would pull a small boat some SUVs, a two-horse trailer, you can do a lot of stuff with that. We're going to pull trailers with it after a bit. But, yeah, I mean, I've always liked these. These are such good off-roads. They've got tilt telescope. There's some trucks out there that don't even have that yet. They don't have the telescope in will. The mirrors are decent for what size this is. And it's a comfortable ride. I mean, you know, we're not riding, it's not shaking the crap out of us. It's a pretty decent ride for what it is. And all the capability. We drove one of these last year, climbed a bunch of rocks, some giant boulders and up some slippery mountains with it a year ago, but you read some more of the factory stuff on here. Damn! But yeah, it's got multi-train selective crawl control. We're going to use that. The start assist. Uh, of course, this has also got the dynamic cruise control, dynamic radar cruise control, which is the adaptive cruise control. I really like that. We've been using that on the way up here in the mountains, so we're trying to stay away from people and get some fresh air. It's got the automatic high beams. I wish my truck had that. It's got the traction control and the lock brakes, of course. Um, it's got the stop-start technology, so it is push-button start. It's got JBL sound, dynamic navigation. It's an 8-inch touchscreen, which is a nice size. We're all going crazy on the size of these, but yeah, we used to have those 4 and 5-inch, now we've got 8. 8 inch, we're doing good. It's got uh, Softex trim power and heated front seats. Of course, it's got the TDRD Pro lettering on the headrests. 17 inch TRD alloy wheels. It's got the TRD tuned Fox shocks and springs. Stamped aluminum front skid plate. I gotta drive over this so you can see that's right in the front. TRD shift knob. Toyota front grille, TRD Pro badges, high performance LED fog lights, black roof and basket. And I'll show you the rear cargo sliding deck. I do a floor storage, you probably gotta find that. And running boards, these are checked up pretty nice, almost like a rock rail. I suppose you could use them for that. Door edge guard, so I put on my truck the door edge guards. Blackout overlays, cost 160 emblem overlays, cargo cover and all that, and it gets you up to that 52147 after the uh, delivery process and handling fees. But it's well-equipped TDR Pro. I think there's one Heritage model that's one above this. But uh, here's the name for that roof rack. Somewhere on here it has to say it. And we'll see if we can find it and play with it. This is my favorite small SUV. I, I can tell you, I take this over a lot of other vehicles. I think it's a, it's a typical Toyota, it should last forever. I love to see Subaru's commercials, it's all about the love. 
They want to give you all this love. Well, I would rather have the strength of a forerunner than the love of a Subaru. But, uh, yeah, this is more like an Arnold Schwarzenegger vehicle. It's all muscle. I mean, it doesn't have the bulging fenders like on the Tacoma and a few other things out there, but it's, it, looks, it looks tough. If I lived in the mountains, this is definitely the one I would have. Yeah. Get in and, and it's got so many more options, too, as far as uh, what you can do with it. So. Yeah, the rock crawl, this A-track, which is like a limited step. We're going to talk about that yeah, more. Yeah, you don't see that kind of stuff in the other yeah. vehicles. So. Yeah, and then, you know, because it's compact, you got some of it up here, some of it down in the middle console. It's got a moon road. We should have that open so we can see where all the mountains are. See if there's any wildlife up there. But yes, indeedy. Yeah, this is the one I would get. When it first came out, it was looking quite a bit different. I think this style's been almost five years. Toyota keep stuff for a long time, but really love the look of this. Yeah, it does have a sharp look. Yeah, and the off-road tires are pretty cool. The hand coops, but it's got some deep treads. Some of the stuff I've gotten lately just had tires, just regular highway treads, and they're not the best things in the world. But too, you know, these are got the, the small enough sipes and, and treads on them. I think they wouldn't make a howling noise. I haven't heard howling noise. I can hear the engine. Yeah, it doesn't but, have that much road noise as far as the tires. Yeah, and yeah, it doesn't. And this is seats five. You fold the second row down and get a lot of stuff in here. And I think you can open that back window so you can stick stuff out the back window if you get really long two by fours or something. You fall off when you're four high. It's pretty slick up here. This is actually by Bun School. Did a Tacoma up there, but it was just kind of muddy and and slick. A little bit of snow. It's got quite a bit more snow. So we're in four high. I'm going to switch to the A track at some point. So I'm pretty impressed with how it works. Yeah, this is a good test. This is some pretty. Slick pretty good rocks snow. and mountains. I knew it snowed up here last week. You never know. So you haven't had to use too many of the special controls this has. Because somebody's been up here. There's one track going through here. So it's not very crowded today. Should be safe. It's pretty windy when you get out there too. I was surprised how much windows. It's always windy up here. It used to be you know, just in the spring, February, March, but not now. Now it's windy all the time. <coughs> well, I'll tell you when it's nice. slipping? Yeah, tell, yeah. I don't you'll, think you'll, it's you'll, even slipped. I yeah. know, it's, it's, it's doing really well. When we get up to the main road, we will turn left. too bad on power either so no it's not Woo, cool yeah so put some of this stuff in the back well we can now we're doing some ups and downs this is cool I haven't even got to the hard part yet no we haven't this is still the main it, yeah, it is. It's uh, this is a little smoother than the one that comes from Highway Seven. Yeah, I like these tires. They're looking good. Even this main part gets kind of nasty at the end when you get onto the other side. Yeah, it's really rough. It's really bumpy. Yeah. right size. I mean, it's a little bigger than a razor, side by side, but it's not too long. You get up here, sometimes I've taken Dodge Zilla up here. My Dodge left the truck 
and it's short enough to turn this type one if it's just too tall and too wide. This one doesn't have much of a different of a footprint than what uh, what the side by sides do. And you can be inside with the air conditioner and the XM radio and all that stuff. And the moonroof, uh, the sun's out. We're going to get a lot of light in here. The moonroof. Yeah, it takes a while to get in here. <clears throat> Looks like it must have had eight inches of snow. Uh, and the wind. Chelsea speed though. No, Chelsea would be flying across these boats. Does <laughs> <laughs> like to fly. Yeah, middle button's A track. You gotta have it four low. Then you got a sway control button. Then of course you got the rear locker right there. And then right below that is all in the top console, which I like. It's a good place for it. If I can get enough sunlight on these knobs, that's your crawl control, and that's your different speeds for crawl control, and over here is your different modes. So you can go sand, or snow, or mogul, or mud. Yes, this is so cool off-road. When you're in the mountains, you can use these a lot. It makes a lot of difference. It's a good place up high, and you got a smaller vehicle. You need to have them in a logical place. Got the A track on. You can see the light by the four low. So I'm trying to see what all that does. Got the rear locker on. anything still. Everything's falling off the dash. This? Uh, well, if you see a road going to your right up here. Yeah. This one here? No, I'm mean, sorry, to your left. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> This is 217. So there should be a road up here pretty soon that will turn left on and go up toward Ironclads. You know, the back end where that airplane engine is, all those door doors closed this time of year. No, we never have made it to that. Uh, no, you bet. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> Even some, on four wheelers, we still know, haven't made there's it. There's some crazy ravines there up there. There's some gnarly up there. Yeah. Uh, is this where it is? That should go both ways, but we need to turn left. A lot of people target practice right there. You get the shotguns out here and they throw blue rock in here. Oh, so this is it right here. Yeah, right? turn left. Hit up where all the big rocks are. I should be standing up and sticking us out the moonroof, but I'm too old to do that stuff. Oh, jeez. Uh, wow. Yeah, some bumps. I'm backwards because it goes all the way down to that mid St. Brain. Oh, the big water crossing. Yeah, we get pretty good bumps here. Now we have some sloshy water. We've got the crawl control on. It's in the third one. I don't know if it means three miles an hour. Got the crawl control on. Maybe three miles an hour. It's the third one. And I've got the A track on, which is automatic traction control. We're going to go down the snowy mountain. Okay, go up to it. Let's see, where's the A track? Get okay, push A track. What did it do? To make a noise or do something? You have to hold it? Tried that and then put C turned off pre collision, pre -collision brake. Yeah. So that means lockers off? No, it's it'll it'll stop flashing when it's engaged. 
minutes, so we're there. All speed. Yeah. yeah, see I'll do that speed to the knob. We're gonna go all the highest speed on it. Oh, okay. High setting of crawl, so it's like five miles an hour. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, go ahead. Pushing that button on. Let's see, I'm pushing. Oh, wow, I can't use that on crawl control. Okay, we'll do them one at a time then. Let's do this. I was like you do them both together, but anyway. Interesting playing with all this stuff. So you're barely moving. Four wheel drive low, and we're crawling. The traction it has here. We're locked, and we are in four wheel drive low. Yeah, it's just doing all that by itself. Climbing up through the snow. So we know it's like it was slick when I was there two weeks ago with mud and snow, and this is mostly just snow. The crawl control button on the overhead console. Okay, now what's it? I push that button on the second knob, the one on the right, will you? Off and on? Yeah, push that one. Okay, now. Can you see that? Sand. Thing? Yeah, mud, sand, and dirt. Okay, I'll we'll turn it to the next one. Okay. That's loose rock. Loose rock. Mogul. Rock. So I must be in the last one. Okay, I'm gonna go over to Loose Rock. I'm gonna go to, let's see. So first one, snow. It's mud, sand, and dirt. Loose Rock, Mogul. We went through some moguls back there, and there's rock. Let's go with Loose Rock and see what that does. Yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah. Let's turn this one on. It's not doing gas. It's not doing gas. Oh, I ain't pushing it. Let's do it. Oh, itself. okay. That's what it's supposed to do. Okay. And let's see. I want to go up to the fast notch, which I think is five miles an hour. And let this thing go down the hill and control my descent. That's what we want to be safe going down the hill too, because this is. It'd be a little tricky up here in the slick snow. Beautiful down here, or up here. Put the other camera on, get some more scenery. So does it, if it's in crawl, does it break <coughs> as you go to? Yeah. I mean, it keeps it within the Yeah, there's the a downhill descent system on here, which I don't know which one this is. One of these helps you downhill, one of them helps you uphill. You know, crawl helps you uphill. We can certainly try that. Stop here and put in neutral. We'll shut this one off, turn this one on. Loose rock. But then the A track shut off. I think the A track helps you also come down here and yeah, I can know this is working the way I want it to. So, so it doesn't do the crawl but part? No, so I think because this Okay, multi-terrain, so when I'm checking out the rocks, it doesn't let me do the all track. So I'll shut that off. We'll go over here, we'll turn this on. Shift to drive or reversed, I remember that. It's kind of a weird setup, but that's how it is. So I get that on, let's try to do A-track. Is that track? There we go, A-track, okay. traction control. So, probably another configuration. There you go, see it's slowing me down. I think that's how it does, works uphill and downhill. That got it at a high speed now. I turn it back a couple notches and go real slow. That's cool. Oh, this is exciting times. I hope we're being loud enough for that camera. Of course, I can always turn it up and post. Yeah. I was surprised it doesn't pick up. I wouldn't be surprised if the camera doesn't pick up your braking. It might. The ABS is loud. Yeah, because that's in the chrome mode. When it's doing either one of them, it helps, and especially the A track on, that helps your control of wheel spin. Wow. Yeah, ABS is controlling our descent, just like it does when you're going up the hill. It also helps with uh, making sure both wheels have lock have traction along with that uh, rear locker. Oops, it's your front. There's a lot to know about this. 
all kinds of different controls it has. You can go down that road, but the gate's always locked this time of the year for that plane thing. And even going back to the mid St. Vrain like River the thing over there, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's beautiful in here. Yep, it is. Okay. We got it in crawl mode. And yeah, I have it on five. Yeah, I've got it on highest speed. I got the A track on. trails bouncing off the rocks and we are the only ones on this trail which I'm glad to see this tray back here I've got my camera equipment on it uh, it you can put a, like 400 and some pounds on it that's so nice it slides in and out figure all this out yeah look at that that's part way in it's all the way in that is so cool, I have a sliding floor in the back. Here goes to the back seat, it's got a couple charging ports here. USB ports, which is just too cool. You need a lot of those, especially in the back seat. Keep the kids entertained. Yes, and in this console, it's pretty deep. You can put a lot of stuff in there. It actually has a 12 volt plug right there. Yes, they've had USB ports. It's got a USB port and 12 volt. Let's go look at the back seat. So let's see how the bottom pulls out. Cool. And that top one should fold down. So we'll find a place to fold it down. There you go. Well, that's cool. All kinds of latches. Yeah, both the back seats recline. Same way you got a lever down here. And you can lay the seat back. That is so cool. That's awesome. Let me get you comfortable. Shows last 102 miles was the last time I reset this. Shows fuel mileage is 21.6. That's all right. Yeah, I love these steering wheels. They're very comfortable. It's got all the holes like you do with an aftermarket steering wheel cover. It makes it very grippy. I like it. I really like that. That's how a steering wheel should have been built, so you can grab it. You can tell my place is in the sand hills. We drag sand everywhere. But it's got these really cool floor mats, the TDR Pro branded floor mats, so I can hook up all that sand and then dump them out, which is good for an off-road truck. And the running boards. You know, this in the Ranger, they got running boards on them, and you really don't need them. I can climb right into this, but some people, a little shorter than me, I'm 5'7", can use the running boards. I almost use them for a rock rail on these though. I've never tried that one if they would break off, but they're up high enough to be using for something else besides stepping into the truck. Now this sticker here, I'm not sure what's happened to this, but it says that it's reduced capacity by 71 pounds. So if they put some aftermarket equipment on here, another rack, I think it holds like 110, 120 pounds. Now look at this hatchback. I got this toy hauler <laughs> ATV trailer on here with our Honda side by side. A lot of times hatchbacks on these SUVs will hit the jack but it has plenty of room. It's good. And there's the backup screen. I love the backup screen. It's very bright. Contrast is good and it's got all those lines to show you how close you're getting to it and in the very middle there it's got a little blue tab that lines up your ball and your coupler and it's it's a really good looking picture so you actually see something. A lot of these backup cameras are you know really blurry this one's probably got some mud or sand on it, but yeah, it does a really good job. And the 8 inch screen is, is, I think, a minimum size to really use a backup screen, a backup camera. It works well, and it's, it shows you enough picture, you know what's going on. I really like this 4Runner. It's a TDR Pro, and we are over here by Jackson Lake. Can't find the South Shore boat ramp, but anyway, pretty cool what's going on up here. And, of course, it's closed. A few people fishing in the river, a few people out on the lake. But uh, it's 
beautiful out here and we'll be out here when everything's opened up and all the trees are bloomed out and let you see the place. This Forerunner, I've gone through several generations of it. This is like the fifth generation. It started in 1984, which is real close to when the Tacoma came out. But uh, this thing is like, they call it TSS-P. It's the safety sense standard. And it has all the cool stuff for technology. It's got the pre-collision system, pedestrian detection, lane departure, alert sway warning, high beams, automatic dynamic radar cruise control which is so cool it's like adaptive cruise control it works very well I always like that and I like the push button start and it uh, it's got that TRD branded cat back exhaust I mean this is a 4 liter V6 it really sounds good on the V8 Tundra it sounds good on this and this is the third one of these Toyotas in a row I've had it's army green so I'm learning all about that and it's got the uh, 8 inch multi multimedia screen which has a lot of cool toys on it I don't get into the Apple Play and all that stuff I suppose someday I need to but me it's all about towing and we are towing this ATV trailer I can put two on here but we've got the side by side and we're right under 3,000 pounds so I don't have to have a brake controller or sway control I mean or weight distributing hitch and this truck has the built-in sway control but uh, yeah, this is a fun deal. I wish I had it for a month. I'd take it to Moab and, and all these places to have fun on it. But it's a body on frame, so, you know, it's built like a truck. It's uh, it's one of the, the great out, out uh, outdoors off-road vehicles you can buy in this class, you know, between this and the Jeeps and, and a few others. But there's not too many of the, uh, the body on frame vehicles left anymore. They've all gone to crossover unibodies, but I like that strength of a frame. I think it actually helps you in an accident because you got something that, you know, that actually is, is solid. But uh, I don't have a lot of data on that. And I love this manual transfer case. It's two-speed. It's got 9.6 inches of ground clearance. Uh, I like these projector beam headlights. And LEDs all over the place. The hood scoop on this, I've taken pictures of it. It's 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 not just glued on like the Tundra. I don't know if it's glued on, velcroed on, whatever it is. But this is built into the hood. It's still non-functional, which I wish they would hook it up to, you know, as an air dam into your intake. But uh, it is a good-looking scoop because it's molded into the hood. I think that's that's a much better deal than all these glue-ons and tape-ons, whatever those things are called. And it's a five-speed ECT automatic, which is... Really old school, everybody else has gone 6-speed or 8-speed or 9-speed or 10-speed. I suppose the next time they remodel this, of course, they'll jump up like they will with, the, with other vehicles in the off-road line. TDR Pro, they make them in everything. They can even make them in cars now. But, you know, they've got uh, TRD Pro in the Tundra, the Tacoma, the 4Runner, and I think the Sequoia has one of those also. And it'll tow 5,000 pounds, so we got 2,000 pounds of capacity. Of course, you got to leave enough tongue weight, you know, for me and my cameras, so that's a little different. I want to talk about the A-Track on this. It's really a cool traction control. It's active traction control, and I can show you the knobs on it, but that you've got to put it in four low, and it basically it'll work so well. Sometimes when I'm using it, I don't use the four-wheel drive system because, it, you know, it's, uh, it's an ABS system that breaks the wheel. It's losing traction. But, you know, I'm in a really comfortable place. In this truck, I mean, it's, it's not like a lot of SUVs or crossovers where your knees are hitting the center console. I got plenty of room, very roomy, actually, roomy, more roomy than a lot of your compact trucks in that the midsize class. But um, yeah, the traction control is awesome. Like I was saying, I sometimes use it even without the four-wheel drive. You know, it's it's a traction control, and it's uh, that's their fancy name is Active Traction Control because it does it actually. The ABS kicks on and breaks whatever tire is slipping. I think it's very, very well made. It actually works on this puppy. Of course, it has the normal hill start assist, uh, downhill assist, and uh, you know, it's electric locking rear differential, which is a big deal. But uh, yeah, we've shown in the mountains there, we're using a crawl feature. And the multi terrain select shows all those different terrains. And you know, it's. Uh, mud and sand and all that sometimes you want the wheels to slip a little bit on the sand to get going you know and it's it's great for the mogul settings is uh, really uneven terrain climbing ditches and slopes and ridges and up and down and just like you do with an ATV so this is one with air conditioning and all that fun stuff but uh, yeah and it's got of course got all the TDR Pro badges 
Uh, and then for shocks, you know, it's it's good off-road. It's got all the skid plates. That quarter-inch front aluminum skid plate's amazing. And then it's got, the, let's see what the front has. It's got the two and a half inch Fox internal bypass shocks. So the shocks really do a lot of the work. And uh, and they're also with that uh, coil over system. And it's a TDR, TRD tuned one. And you got like an inch of lift on the front. That's done with that coil over. And on the back, you got a two and a half inch Fox shock. And you've got, uh, they've got, I think they got the piggy bank. Let's see. Yeah, they got the piggyback remote reservoirs so you have you know more room for actual function of the shock and you got the oil reservoir on the side reservoir